Hey guys, John Loves Wrestling here. Hope you are having a great day. Hope everybody is staying happy, healthy, and safe out there. I'm just going to try and throw out a quick video today. Um, it was a not a tremendously great week of wrestling in WWE, uh, and, but we got Survivor Series this weekend, so I'm sure that'll pick up, and I'm sure um, my next video will be long. I know my last video was somewhere in the 10-minute range, so I'm going to try and keep it a little shorter for this week and just go through point-by-point -point highlights, uh, just one or two things off each of the brands. Uh, so I'd like to start with 205 Live, the debut of Draco Anthony uh, versus Roderick Strong. Uh, I thought that this was a very good de debut for Draco. He is trained by Booker T. Um, I... I think he looks solid in there. It was good stuff. Uh, not enough to get the job done against Roderick of Diamond Mind, of course. But uh, Draco looked good in there. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to see him again. And, uh, you know, it was, it was an impressive debut. So congratulations to him on that. He looked good in there. Uh, I mean that in more ways than one, too. Uh, hot. Um, anyways, so speaking of hot, uh, Pretty Deadly's Magic Mike skit on NXT UK was so funny. Um... Guys, check that out. Uh, if you get a few minutes, would I recommend you checking out Pretty Deadly, your NXT UK Tag Team Champions on NXT UK. Their matches, their promos, their skits. Would I recommend them? Yes, boy. All right, so NXT. We had, we finally got, I gotta talk about the thing that we're all talking about from NXT. Uh, to me, I am I am a fan of the 2.0 version, but this was not their strongest week. It was probably one of my least favorites since they've changed over. But we finally had the moment we've been waiting for, Steiner Math, with Braun Breaker and Tommaso Ciampa. So, so glad they went there. I kind of love what they're doing here. Um, even though he's not using that name, uh, we all know he is a Steiner, but his name is Braun Breaker. But it's like... The, you know, the references, the Frankensteiner, the Steiner recliner, the way he talks, uh, it's pretty much tippy-toeing around it. It's like, tell me you're a Steiner without telling me you're a Steiner. So, it, this is another, like, fun thing they threw in there. We all know the 33, 33 and a 3% chance, uh, famous promo, uh, and it was funny that it was, uh, referenced here, so... I think that's the thing that most people's take away from this past episode of NXT. Um, another really cool thing that they're doing that I want to talk about real quick is Grayson Waller is now uh, kind of waving the flag for the new crop of talent on NXT UK. And he's almost doing it in a way where he feels that um, he didn't have to do as much work to the veter as the veterans did and... The veterans shouldn't necessarily be proud of the way that they've come up in the business. So, Tommaso Ciampa took offense to that as well. Uh, we're kind of maybe possibly seeing a 1.0 versus 2.0 uh, civil war going on here. Um, I think it's a, it's a very interesting angle because uh, being involved in independent wrestling myself for several years, there is that stigma, there is that mentality, uh, and everything that you hear is true. Uh, the driving, uh, hundreds of miles, hot dog and a handshake, everything that he referenced, you know, it's not fabricated. This is really stuff that we do, um, and that I have done, but, uh, not, never had a hot, never hot dog, though, um, but definitely the handshake, um, but yeah, so it's very interesting to see where they're going there, and you do have good and bad on both sides, uh, but it does look like they're going more of the face route for the veterans and the heel route for the newcomers. Uh, but this is interesting to see. This one's this one's going to be good. This is shaping up to be quite interesting. Uh, let's talk about Raw. Uh, the only thing I want to talk about in Raw is Kevin Owens' heel turn. So I think that this was done really, really well. We're kind of living in an age now where heel and face turns happen more frequently than honestly they should uh and it's not surprising anymore it's lost a lot of shock value kevin owens has been involved in some of the better versions of these though um but they are done too frequently in my opinion but but kevin this was a great um this was a great turn and you know what it's almost kind of like if you really listen to what he's saying is it a heel turn or is it kind of justifiable. I'll leave that for you guys to decide in the comment section below because 
you know, if everybody's looking at you and uh, you're not a duck, but they say you look like a duck and you quack like a duck, might as well just be a duck then, right? I mean, so is Kevin really the bad guy here? L let me know in the comment section below. Uh, last thing I want to talk about is SmackDown, Aaliyah. Um, wow, there's a lot to unpack here. Um, I, I've been a fan of Aaliyah since NXT, and I think she looked amazing in her debut match, Six Woman Tag, on SmackDown. Uh, and she actually picked up the victory for her team. She pinned Natty, and she, this was a great match, and she was the star of the show here, and this was manufactured for us perfectly, um... WWE had us in the palm of their hands with this one, didn't they, guys? They, they, I mean, they could not have possibly, between last week, the thing with Jeff Hardy, now this week, they could not possibly have made Aaliyah more likable, and in this six-woman tag, more deserving to be on the women's SmackDown team for the SmackDown side. Um, but, of course, uh, as she celebrated her match, um, her victory, she celebrated... Pretty strongly with Naomi and uh, uh, yada yada yada. She ended up getting kicked off of the SmackDown team, Aaliyah did, by Naomi. So we can connect the dots there, there. but Aaliyah's acting. Her face when Sonya dropped that bomb on her. Oh, oh my god, heartbreaking. Aaliyah has been shining these past couple weeks. I am, I love it. I am so happy for her. Um... But we still don't know who that, who that uh, mystery member is going to be. We also don't know on the men's side. I'm hoping they don't reveal it on two days in SmackDown. I'm hoping they actually wait for Survivor Series. And, you know, let's have go back to the old-fashioned way again of having some surprises happen actually on the day of the show, on the pay-per-view, right at that moment. Um, that's what I want to see. But uh, anyway, so we got. I hope you guys like the video. <laughs> so, of course, it's over seven minutes long. I can't make a short video. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I love you guys, though. And I hope, if you don't mind, that my videos can sometimes be a bit long. I hope you still like them. I hope you guys subscribe and share and all that stuff. And I love you. And I'll see you next week. Uh, enjoy your day. Love you. Bye.